What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, we are going to be building out the user and role repository. And even though we are in the world of Spring Security, we still need to utilize um, interior architecture so that we can get users out of the database via our users and our roles and our methods within our users and role repository. And we are just going to have a very simple method that is going to return users from our user model from the database by username so that we can put them inside of our user detail service. So even though we are in the world of Spring Security, we are still using interior architecture. And we are going to, once again, build out our user and our role repository. And they're not going to be hardly any different from any other repository that we've built beforehand. So let's just go ahead in here. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create the user repository. Just going to be a good old interface, nothing too special about it. So we'll go user repository. So we'll go here, user repository. And it's going to be an interface. Make sure it's an interface because if it's not, it's going to give you an error. And then this is going to extend the JPA repository and make sure to put your user entity in here. And this is going to be an integer. So we're going to have integer, spelled that wrong, right here. And we're going to have our user entity. What we're going to have is we're going to have a query method where we are going to find users by username and we are going to have a Boolean to check if the user exists. So we're going to have optional. And within this, we are going to have our user entity. So just like this. And we are going to, and I spelled optional wrong. So optional. And then we're going to have a custom query method called find by username. And if you don't know anything about query methods, I've got a video on it. But what this is, is just a specific way that JPA allows you to create query methods and pull, pull specific information without having to create specific actual SQL statements. So we've just got our username right here and we'll bring in our optional. Next, we want to check if the actual username exists. So we'll have a Boolean and then within our Boolean, once again, custom query method is going to have an exist by actual username. So we'll have an exist by username and we're going to pass in username right here. So that is pretty much it. The next one is going to be way simpler and that is going to be the role repository. So role repository, not going to be uh, very difficult at all. And we're just going to call it a role repository just like our uh, previous, um, just like our previous example. And here, accidentally named it an interface. I'm going to call this interface. Okay, so. And this is going to extends JPA repository. And this repository is going to have a role with a integer. Not too complicated. Next, we are going to create our first query method within our within our role repository. And this is going to have an optional, it will have a role, and we will find by name. So it's find by name, and then we are going to pass in a string. And now we have both of our repositories set up, we can move on to creating our first custom user details service. Anyways, that's gonna be the video for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.